Hello guys, Wahoo here, back with another video. This time around we are doing dragons and more dragons and more dragons. I'm basically uh, ca categorizing or uh, guiding you through every single dragon there is in Trove. So if you watched uh, this video uh, or this in or if you watched one of these videos before, uh, the intro is going to be the same for each and every single video. I'm going to use the same one for each one so I can explain to the people that do click a random one and not just the first one that, uh, you know, this is the same and kind of explaining how it goes so if you've seen this intro you can click ahead in the description there is uh links to a bunch of stuff but also to uh timestamps so you can get to whatever dragon you are looking for if you just want to uh, skip ahead but if you haven't watched this intro i suggest you uh, do so uh, there's not going to be a lot of uh, talking or a lot of entering into this but there is a little bit explaining why I didn't put all the dragons into the same video is because then over time uh, Trove introduces new and new dragons and those dragons uh, if I make one big video uh, I can't put all those so I have to make a different one so I, I, I decided that I wanted to do uh, a of at least three dragons in a video, maybe more up to like seven or something like some that made sense to put together. Uh, so some of the videos are a little bit longer than others. Some are a little bit shorter, uh, but they are categorizing all of them. So when they introduce new dragons, as they did uh, not too recently, they introduced new three new dragons. Those three new dragons, you know, is just going to end up in the playlist that is on the channel. So it's just, you know, go through all of them as it is. It is says in the title which ones is what and also in the description, of course. So you can kind of can figure out which dragons you are looking for. So uh, that's basically the intro. So there's not really much more to say. That was just explaining why I did it uh, like I did it and not in one big video as that there's a lot of dragons out there and yeah so that was the intro now we can start uh, going into the dragons enjoy all right guys let's start with the easiest dragon of the three that's at least how i feel it because the other ones are tied into a lot of things of how to get the fragments this one is a little bit more straightforward and i call this one the new water dragon because this one basically is from the new pools so basically the old water dragon if you've seen that one you fish the fragments out of pools pools are basically small things uh, on the other liquids <laughs> and then you fish it out of that so it's pretty easy to see so if you fish inside pools you get the fragments for the new dragon the new water dragon outside of pools you get the fragments from the old one so pretty simple as of that but let's go and talk about how you are going to obtain this one here so first you need to get the dragon egg this one is so you fish inside like i said pools as you can see right here you fish inside pools and it's random i've only gotten 37 of the fragments so i feel like they're a little bit more rare than the other ones are the for the old uh, you know water dragon uh, but you can get these in all the pools it doesn't have to be in water i just call it a new water dragon because it sort of seems like the same one right you fish in water you get those water uh, fragments for the water dragon basically but these are from all the pools so it's not only water it's also from lava uh, plasma and so on so on. every place there is a pool you'll get you have a chance of getting these but i still feel like they are a little bit more rare than the bubble dragon is actually so you need those and you when you get 100 fragments you can make the egg and then you can go ahead and make yourself oh sorry right here first you need of course the egg that's right up here then you need some dragon coins then you need the mark of the angler and if you watch my fishing uh, guide you know how to obtain mark of the angler but basically when you're fishing uh, you you do a little quest thing at first and then you uh, get the aura of the angler and when you get the aura of the angler you can start getting marks of the angler so basically these are just when you are fishing in pools you'll get these mark of the anglers so and what is though the scales of deep well you have to obtain a special fishing pole i'll show you guys how you obtain that special fishing pole to get those deep uh, fish which is also from pools but you need a special uh, frag sorry fragment sorry <laughs> a special fishing pole that you get from this guy so when you do the, the quest line for the fishing basically you then obtain this guy because when you go down here the first time you haven't done the uh, quest at all this uh, the quest is of course inside of here so if it's if you go to here and you see there's no quest or you see this guy right here the uh, mud walker mark uh, or just mark if you see him here that's of course you can obtain this fishing pole so when you obtain the fishing pole you can then start fishing in pools and there's a chance of getting these deep ones and then when you loot collect those you get those scales so pretty much just you know get marks uh get the mark fishing pole start fishing in pools and then you get 
those fish and you can loop them to get all of those. So that's how you are gonna get the uh, scales to, to get those as well. I am not sure and I really wanna see right now if they are actually tradable. They are tradable, so you can actually get them on the marketplace as well if you want to do so. And also the primary or the premium canned fish uh, cans, you can also get those from the marketplace. You can get these as well, so if you don't have, uh, you know, if you don't wanna go get the pole and only just wanna get the dragon, you can get them also marketplace, but they're gonna be pretty expensive is, uh, of course in the very future it's not going to be, but right now they are of course, because they just came out. And the premium canned fish is just from, uh, you know, when you catch a rare fish from one of the pools, uh, and you loot collect that fish, it's gonna give you these premium. There's also gonna be one for common and uncommon for the canned fish. And as you can see, I already, you know, I haven't been fishing for very long, but I already have 114. So you just keep fishing in poles until you have 50 fish at least, and then can them or, you know, loot collect them, and then you'll get the prime one. You can also use it for the fish buffs and stuff like that. But this is for how you could obtain the dragon. So either get them off the marketplace, these two, or, uh, you know, just fish around and getting the pole and doing that. So it's it's not that hard of a dragon to get. It just fi keep fishing in the poles in the pools basically with the poles, pools and poles. Very hard to say for me at least. But yeah, that's how you're gonna maintain this uh, new water dragon. But let's move on to the next one. All right, so for the next dragon is a little bit harder. I kind of call it, let's show us all the content kind of dragon. Well, because we need the fragments for all the new content that was in the Reel of Reeling in the Stars update. So let me explain, let me show you right over here. It makes a lot more sense when I do go to the Dragon Crucible. And under eggs, you can see it's right here, the Casparian Dragon as we have. And we can only, we can only get, uh, you only need 12, that's what I'm saying. You might usually, if I just show this, oh, 100, only need 12, that seems very, very easy. And you already have three, who so this seems to be a very, very easy dragon. Well, it's not really, because the way you are going to get it is that you got to obtain it from different places. So I got three and I'll show you guys where you can obtain all of these here fragments because there is three from all over these new content. So the first place I want to show you guys is from the Pond of Power. So right in the Pond of Power, I mean, you unlock this one down here. You can see it grants you a Kensperian Dragon Fragment. And if you want to go over here, grants you a Casparian Dragon Fragment. And this one as well grants you a Casparian Dragon Fragment. So these three out here uh, gives you a fragment. So you do have to fish enough uh, marks of the angler to get all of these out here. And I talked about this before and talked a bunch of times about how you're gonna obtain the mark of the angler. But basically you do a little quest, you get obtain it, you can go here, we got the aura of the angler and then you can start getting marks of the angler. Also, you're gonna get this mark guy and he's also going to sell you three and it's gonna cost you 7,500 7, of the marks. So you get three from here, uh, three from this uh, tree as a fish tree as I call it. So three from mark and uh, you just buy three, that's pretty simple. And then three from the uh, tree here as well. So now we are on six fragments. So where are you gonna get the last six fragment? For that, we have to go to the top of the house, the penthouse to go up here and we have to talk to the celestial. So the list celestial, as you can see, also sells you three fragments. And these are gonna be the astral echoes. The astral echoes, where do you get those from? Well, there's a tome, you can get 5,000 a week, which is really nice but you can also just get these by just doing dungeons, you know, going out there doing dungeons. So basically this is currency for the new star chart, the talent tree basically. And you also need 7,500 uh, 7, of these for uh, each of the fragments. So uh, yeah, it's not three, it's not 7,500 7, for three fragments, it's per fragment. So you're gonna need a lot of these to get the last three fragments as well, right? So yeah, just go out there, do dungeons and you'll randomly get Get all of these or do the tome there's also a guy right up here i'm gonna have to buy from him as well that's a daily one where you can use some of your dispoil divinities so of course dispoil divinities is from delves and you can go ahead and buy five so i'm gonna go buy five of those spend some of these it's not super great you know it is a daily thing so you can get it daily and get those 250 uh but uh you know and not dispoil divinity is not that there's not really any cost for dispoil divinities you know other than and then this and then costumes, but I don't know, I feel like 250 is not that great, but you, it is a little bit of a boost uh, on top of that. I kind of keep forgetting to buy it, but 
7,500 you can buy this three fragments. So now we are nine fragments in total and where are we gonna get the last three fragments? Well you are gonna get it from the star charts and there's three places you can get the star chart I'll show you guys as well. One of them is right out here as you can see you have to go through a tree all the way up here and this is gonna see right here grants you a Casparian dragon fragment when upgraded. So you can get to get the fragment and there's also one right down here so I'm very close to getting this one at least. So yeah, as you can see, a Casparian Dragon Fragment. And then the last one is down, way down here. So this one here, go down through here, and it's right here, the Casparian Dragon, the third one as well. So basically, one from the Star Chart, one from the Celestial, them himself, then one from Mark, and then one from the Fish Tree as well. So basically, that's why I'm saying for all the contests, there's where you are going to get all the fragments. So that's why it's a little bit harder, because it's kind of a long haul before you get this here dragon. So because when you have, then you only have the egg, right? And then you need the dragon itself. And again, you need some more marks, not so many, only 500, so it's not that much. And then also 500 more uh, echoes and then some dragon uh, dragon coins and then the egg itself. So it's, you're not, it's not that hard afterwards, but also the, obtaining the dragon fragments are really the hard part of getting this one as well. So really, really cool. And uh, you can reset your star charts, it's gonna let you know, but you can, you don't you don't lose the fragments if you reset your tree. Basically, when you have unlocked them, you cannot uh, get rid of them, basically. You do have to delete them if you uh, want to do so. Uh, I wouldn't recommend, but I also wanna show you guys really quickly. I do have the three fragments, so let me show you right here. And I'm gonna go, oh, uh, I'm gonna show you with another fragment, just to make clear, I'm just gonna take uh, this, this one instead. So I have two different ones, as you can see, uh, I do have some fish in here, but see, I can loot collect these, but the other one do not show up. And yes, I do have a mod, but it, it still doesn't show up here. So you cannot loot collect these at all. And that's really a good thing because if you can loot collect these, usually people loot collect all their fragments for the dragons. And if they suddenly does that, you know, right? They have to, they can't get it another time. So that's why they cannot be loot collected. Of course, you can delete them. You can go ahead and delete them if you want to do so. Uh, so make sure you don't do that for sure because uh, they are not obtainable again so really sure to not loot uh, like you know destroy them in any way uh, or anything like that but you cannot loot collect them so if it is in your inventory and you're just like I can't find them at all they might be hiding on some of the other pages you know and then you can just go ahead and click a little green button there uh, you can't see it from my face but then it will show up because it might be in another tab so just keep that in mind when you are doing that so this was this Casparian dragon let's move on to the last one all right, so the last one is the Balefire one, or the one I have been teasing for a long time. That was the up up to into emails. Uh, you know, you had to sign up for their emails basically, and then you got this dragon. I thought it was really nice, and I made a video, and I thought it was like super easy. I was I was I was I was really hyped for this dragon because it felt like so easy to get a dragon for people. So if I could like you know give people the information on how you're gonna get like the most easiest dragon ever, then you could like just you know, sign up for their emails and then you'll get a dragon. It was just so amazing, but they they didn't choose to do so, but they have implemented it now. And how are you going to obtain this dragon? Well, first of all, you are not gonna use a dragon egg. You are just basically going to get the fragments. So how are you gonna get the fragments? I'll show you guys, you need 30 of these. And you usually, when we do a dragon, you know, 100 fragments, it's pretty crazy, right? But this one, you only need 30, but it's, let's go over these materials you need. So. Dragon coins, then you need flux, and then of course you need the primordial flames. These can buy off the marketplace if you want to, or just go out and farm them. And then you need these astral echoes. And if you don't know what the astral echoes is, this is from just doing dungeons. And, and also there's a tome, you can get 5,000 a week for that. But you just need to do dungeons and you'll get these randomly. You don't have to do anything. You just go out there and it's currency that's just gonna show up and just be there randomly. And then you just have to farm a thousand of that. But the part part or the harder part is to get the bale fire uh, dragon fragments here because you need 30 but you can see I have already have two of these here and you can get more than actually you what you need because you get it from over here you get it from the 
And it's pretty simple. You just get it from the star chart. I talked about, you know, the other dragon in the in the previous, the Casparian one that's up from here, that that's the fragment here and there's a fragment here and there's a fragment here. But the other one is a lot easier because you get fragments when you unlock these big ones. As you can see, it grants a, um, you know, Balefire Dragon fragment when unlocked. And also this one and every single of these are going to give you something but also a fra dragon fragment so you can reset the tree and go through all of them if you want every single you know fragment if you want to do so if you want to reset your tree and then go take oh, i just want this i just want this and just want this and it's, it's going to be pretty crazy uh you cannot obtain the dragon fragments again you can't reset your tree as i haven't tried it and i'm not going to try to try it uh I could do so, but it's going to cost me some stuff to do so, kind of a lot of stuff. So I don't want to go reset my tree, but I'm pretty sure when you have unlocked it, it's basically not going to give you another fragment. So you can't like just find the, the closest of these big ones and then go and reset your tree and just go backwards and forwards like that. I would also feel like it's very in, ineffective but or inefficient actually to do so. You just might as well go. What I'm doing right now is that I'm going for the you know the you know the Casparian fragments, and if I get more than I need for the other one, because I probably want to go up here and get some damage. Just saying that, don't just just go for whatever notes are going to go through, and then when you if you need fragments, then you can go ahead and unlock some of them you might not need, and then reset your tree like that maybe. But um you are going to probably get enough going through just every single uh, one of them. Uh, and if not, in, then go for or some other ones or unlock or something like that. It, it's not that uh, un, un hard to, to get through that. But basically, every other big notes, if you can say like that on the tree, it's going to get you one of these and you need 30 of that. And also because they are tied into, uh, you know, these echoes that you just get from uh, doing dungeons and stuff like that. That's why it's also from there as well. So yeah, the Balefire ones is just from the star chart or the talent tree and just, on, you know, you gotta get 30 and then some a little bit of the echoes and some flames and, you know, dragon coins and flux. So that's not too complicated, but uh, you do need a little bit more and it's also again from the uh, star chart. So yeah, that was all the dragons. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.